Hey beauties, welcome to my channel. My name is Ashley New here. I'm a cruelty free Emmy who loves to play with makeup. Of course, you've been here before. Welcome back. Today's video is trying out the Cine Grace Cosmetics Eyeshadows, Blushes, and Highlighter. A blush and a highlighter. If you watch my Cine Grace uh, mystery bag, um, I will link it up here so you guys can check it out and whatever you want to see if you want to or not. But I am playing with, don't look at those, I am playing with these two right here and these eyeshadows right here. Oh, yeah, very interesting. So, let's get started. So I'm gonna put some eyeshadow primer. This is a brand new eyeshadow primer, so I really don't know how this is gonna work or anything like that. Um, This is the Revolution Relove Eye Primer. If you watch my uh, haul for my revolution, you would see this. Uh, so this is this is really like a oh I like this because this is my first time trying this eyeshadow primer out. Um, I like this. This is reminds me of I'm trying to think Anastasia 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 Beverly Hills AB8. Whoa, I really do like that. Ooh, this is might be my new holy grail. I'm using this shade here in Lilac Daydream. This is a matte eyeshadow. So this is very pigmented as you can see. I got hair coming from my cats. But it looks has a little bit of kickback, but it's not a lot. Yeah. Oh wow. That's really pretty. I mean, that's really pretty. Good, it's nice and pigmented. Really soft. Let's see, see if I can have some little bit light. It doesn't look like it, but oh well. So that's really pretty. I like that. It's a nice, like a nice purple mauve color. So I do like that. I'm definitely going to have to get more of these from Cindy Grace. So, so I really do like this. It's easy to build up. But I am using a fluffier brush. So the next one we're going to use to deepen that up um, is, next one we're going to use, sorry about that again, um, it's called Sweet Jubilee, it's this shade right here. So what I'm going to do is actually just putting this in the outer V, whoa. And like I said, purples are really hard to to create, and also hard sometimes hard to blend. It's nice, and it's blending really, really good. If you need to go back to little light, um, go for it. The shade. So I really don't know these names by heart. <laughs> uh, little light daydream. You really want to keep blending, and that's uh, sometimes with these colors like this purple shade, you really got to do some blending. Shadow mine. Also, we could be using the brush. This one it doesn't have much kickback to it. As the lighter shade, go a little bit deeper. We're gonna use the darker shade of purple. I love it has a, you can make a good. This is ethereal. It's this darker purple. I think these are really pretty. Ooh, it's like a nice big purple shade. There we go. Nice blend. It's really pigmented as you can see. Which I don't mind that. 
to be honest. But we're gonna go back to the other shape so we can really, really, that one does have a little kick that's a little bit softer than that little shade that we just switch. I mean, these shades were really good. I didn't like it. I'm not gonna, for our purples, they're really, really good. So I want to, now I'm gonna use this one. This is, these are shimmers, but these are pressed pigments. Um, This one's called Lovely Lavender. Ooh, sometimes I'm not allergic to. I'm gonna put this in the, uh, well, this one's like really full to the top. Hmm. Could be the brush, but okay. Can y'all really see that shimmer? Still a little kick back too. Then I'm gonna use the other one, another press, press pigment. It's called Amethyst, which I do like. Like that. Ooh, I actually like that gradient look. Like, oh wow. Yeah, that's really pretty. I like that. I like those shimmers, those pressed pigments. Those are really good. For an indie brand, for the price of these, these are pretty good. Yeah. So for this highlighter, I'm gonna use this highlighter. It's called Majestic, this shade right here. I'm gonna use this as a highlighter, but I want to put this in the inner corner to brighten that up. So that's really pretty. So I'm gonna do my foundation and some and my, my contour and everything. I'll be back. I'm gonna do the blush and of course the highlighter. And we're just gonna I'm just gonna finish it up after that and see. Okay, I did my face and everything in my contour and I put a lippy on. This is to let you know what this lippy I'm using. Is. I'm using Live Glam's uh Mapacita. Um for this lip, that was pretty. Might as well go nude. Um, I did want to go with, sorry, my nose is a little bit itchy. I did want to go with purple, but I was like, man, let's just don't. So, for blush, I'm going to use Flower Crown. This is a blush. This is actually a really good size. It's called Mystery 2021. I guess it was a mystery, I should, like, a mystery. Think back for this one including this one too. So these were mis mystery things. I did not know they had a name for, for mystery. But it's okay. Okay. Mm. Mm. Okay, we're gonna use Flower Crown. This is a really cute, beautiful shade. Nice mauve color. We're just gonna put it right here where we put the blush at. Ooh, ooh, I like that. Matches the, I look really good. I'm glad they, no, did, like, kind of did a full face, or, yeah, to go with this look. It looks on the skin really good. So that's really pretty. I like that. Quite pigmented. I like that. And then we're going to use that highlighter that we use in the corner of the eye. So we're going to use Majestic. This is another mystery. Ooh. We're just going to go right here. Ooh, this is a really pretty. Ooh, look at that. Ooh. 
Ooh, I like this highlighter. Definitely, definitely like. Ooh, this is definitely a gonna be my favorite highlighters to use for pinks. Ooh, I'm definitely, definitely gonna get more of these. Like, I they have a mystery bag again for a 50% 50, 50 off. Heck yeah, I'll do that. But if there's on sale, I'm still gonna go like, heck yeah, I'm gonna get them. The mattes are really, really good. This one, you might have a little problem. I'm like, I'm gonna go with each one. The little the Lilac Daydream one is pretty pigmented for its shade. It does have a little kickback, but that's okay. I'm not gonna think, but it went on the eyes flawlessly, as you can saw, as you've seen. Um, the middle shade that I used for the Outer V, the Sweet Jubilee, this one was a little bit tough to blend, but I mean blend, but it did did a pretty good job of glad you keep on blending. It helped and added more to it. That also worked out too. I think you can use this. I would have used this as like on lid personally, because I would have. I really like this shade too. I like this one. But sometimes purples, like I said before, purples are hard to create and hard to blend sometimes. So it's just because of the color. This darker shade, Ethereal, is a pretty pigmented one. I really like this one. I definitely, I gotta remember not to put too much and everything else, the lighter as you go. But I, but I would, definitely use I'm definitely gonna use these again because I feel like these are really pretty the pigment the two shimmers uh, lovely lavender and and with this I'm gonna put these together because these are pretty pretty pigmented I do like that I love how um, lovely lavender was over here and then you use the one other side as amethyst. I really use, I would really, I'm definitely gonna use these again. Um, especially if I'm gonna do reds and pinks and purples uh, and possibly blues, but these are really, really good. I would do like these. So the pigment is there. These are really, really good for the purple. Okay. I did not set my face, but it's, the blush, flower crown is really subtle but pigmented as you can see that is a gorgeous shade and I would highly recommend this if you can find it but they do not have this on the website anymore which is really I, I like I would have to find something similar than this shade but this is really pretty I like the color it's really mauvey a light mauve color and I think this will work on to light skin to medium skin i don't think this will work for dark skin tones but you never know just try to see how this can use it as an eyeshadow i would of course this highlighter oh majestic this is definitely majestic like look at that highlight ain't that gorgeous even even with the inner corner mm, perfect Oh my gosh, this is such a beautiful shade. I really enjoyed this and I'm definitely gonna play with this more. So guys, oh, how do you like this look? How do you like what you've seen? How you, will you buy these? Like with the mystery bag, bag that I got, that's, that's what I got. I didn't use the glitter. I did not use the glitter, but I might well do a look with this like a purple and silver look. This one's called Berry Picking. I did not use this one. I didn't feel like using it, but we'll see soon. But yeah, so yeah, like I said, how do you like the shades? Would you try these? Would you try Dini Grace and everything? Like, would you try them out? Let me down, let me know down below. Um, yeah. Don't forget to hit the like button if you want to see more makeup looks like this and also seeing more brands like this. Uh, make sure to hit the like button. Of course, you want to be part of the Makeup Addict family. Uh, want to be part of 
yeah, we want to be part of the makeup family when the makeup hits the subscribe button. We are a drama free and judgment free zone here. We don't put with that at all. And of course, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can notify of any new videos. So guys, I love you. I hope you have a wonderful day or night wherever you're at. And God bless.